Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here looking at the performance improvements on the Nexus 6. And as you may know, uh, Android 5.1 is rolling out on the device uh, across the world. Uh, and uh, it claims that it's going to fix quite a lot of the bugs that Lollipop brought to the device. Uh, and I've just put it on the device to see basically what the main changes are. And I think most of the changes are kind of like the underlying uh, kind of software. I have to say that the device feels a lot quicker uh, in general usage, like opening up apps, etc. Uh, it used to be a bit sluggish, but certainly it does seem that uh, Google has got its act together with this device and uh, made for a, a nicer experience all around. Uh, and as we can see on this uh, notification bar, we have... Uh, a quick way of getting into different Wi-Fi points if you want to do that as well as on the Bluetooth here uh, we have uh, ability to connect to different Bluetooth devices quite quickly uh, in terms of uh, other changes I've not really noticed too many as of yet uh, it seems to be quite uh, similar across the board really uh, I did notice a notification about cloud printing when I first put it on the device but uh, other than that as I said uh, going into stuff does feel a lot quicker as you can see before there'd be like a noticeable kind of delay when going into stuff and I'm certainly liking what 5.1 has brought to the device uh, but we can see basically the Antutu score uh, about now and see if it is uh, improved a little bit I will speed up the video obviously so that uh, you're not left waiting so uh, we get into the graphical component and uh, as we can see uh, we have a nice quad HD resolution confirmation so uh, what we're getting here very nice and smooth it looks like and uh, it looks like uh, quite a nice frame rate there 30 to 40 45 there So based upon this, I think the gaming should still be quite good, and it ought to be on such an expensive device. And uh, we're seeing here the benchmark score of uh, 51692 so that's above the Mizu MX4 the Galaxy Note 4 uh, and the like so way up there then I'm not sure of the uh, score on 5.0.1 but I might put that in the description box when I find that out so that you can see like the improvement there and uh, just uh, go out of that and do a bit of geek bench as well which uh, as we can see nice summary of the specs there uh, with the Android 5.1 which is very nice and uh, we can just run that quite quick and uh, we're finished so we can see here a single course of uh, 1073 which is obviously quite beastly compared to some of the lower end handsets I've been testing and the uh, 3172 for the multi core score which is very nice indeed uh, above the Galaxy S5 
Not sure why the Galaxy S5 gets so good on this test. It's only a Snapdragon 801. You know, it's uh, quite weird there, but yeah, pretty nice score there for the Geekbench. But uh, as I said, you know, uh, in terms of the actual changes to the UI, it's very similar. I think uh, Google are a bit uh, playing it safe, if you ask me. And uh, you can see things do seem to open up quite nice and quick. But uh, I might do some uh, comparison tests against some uh, other phones to see how the speed is. But uh, yeah, you know, we're going to leave it there, I think. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you did like it, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh, and one more thing. I uh, just wanted to check to see if uh, the encryption had changed at all this was uh, blamed for making the device a bit sluggish and we can see here the uh, encryption seems to still be on which I was expecting that to be taken off I wonder if you can take it off it doesn't seem that you can take it off which is quite annoying but obviously if you kind of root the device and things like that you can get it off but would have been nice if Google had a built it in so you could take that off if you didn't want it. But then again, I'm quite impressed that uh, the device is running so fast and smooth with that on. Uh, I was thinking that was taken off and was the reason why uh, it was running fast. But uh, hey ho, nice improvement nevertheless. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Cheers.